Joe's pleasure, pal. It's Vito speaking. Vito, why didn't you come home last night? I was worried sick. Mama? I didn't know you had Joe's number. And whose phone is this? So have you spoken to Mr. Papalardo? Find yourself a job? Yeah, he told me to come by and see him today. Hopefully he's got some work for me. Okay, Vito. Good luck, mio bambino. All right, bye, Mama. December. New reports indicate that the German armor has been left in pieces as the Allies continue their march toward Berlin, and victory gets even... This pile of crates onto that truck. When you're done, you get ten bucks. If something gets lost or broken, you get nothing. Start now and don't take all day. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Who the fuck wants to move boxes around all goddamn day? Hey, 
Hey, you done? Yeah, I'm done. And you can keep the ten bucks. When I said I needed a job, I didn't mean slave labor. Whatever. Get the fuck out of here, then. Don't show your face around here again. Yeah, don't worry. I can make a hundred times more working for Barbaro Incorporated. Wait, you said Barbaro? Joe Barbaro? What now? Well, this one don't like manual labor. What the fuck? Said he works with Joe Barbaro. Bullshit. Who want a load crates if he works with Joe? You'll have to explain this one to me, sonny boy. What's your story? Uh, well, my mother wanted me to come talk to you about an honest job, but... I need some real money, so this ain't gonna cut it. <laughs> Them women. They're all the same. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. She doesn't want you hanging around with Joe, right? <laughs> My mother was the same way. Look what become of me. Union boss. I got the whole fucking waterfront under my thumb. So how's Joe? Pretty good, I guess. How'd you meet up with him? Oh, we go way back to the old neighborhood. I just come back from overseas and he's putting me up until I can get back on my feet. Listen, uh, you gotta understand, a person in my position's gotta be careful. Certainly. So you won't mind if I give Joe a call, right? Nah, go ahead. Yeah, hey, it's better than lugging crates around. All right, then. Get going. <clears throat> I'm here to collect the fee for the barber. Hey, what kind of game you playing here? The kind where you pay what you owe and you don't get hurt. You got a problem with that? I got a problem with you. Now get out of here before I kick your ass. <laughs> Here's your fucking money. Yeah, glad you decided to reconsider. Hey, pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Uh, yeah. I must have forgot or something. Next time, try to pay on time, okay? Thanks. Hey, Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Sure, here it is. I don't want no problems. Don't leave it until the last minute next time. Hey, pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Look, asshole. I'm not in the mood. Why don't you get out of my face before you get hurt? Ah, no can do, pal. Derek wants his money. Derek can kiss my ass. What's that fat fuck gonna do? Have me killed? Hey, you said it, not me. Why don't you give it a try then, asshole? Kill him! Anybody else? Got a fucking problem with paying for the fucking barber? Here's the money, boss man. Good job. Here's your share. I watch you take care of Bill. You were good. Steve damn near got his ass kicked when he tried that. Right, Steve? And Vito, I almost forgot. Joe called. He wants you should meet him at Freddy's. That's all I got for today.
classic music for a classy city. Empire Classic Radio. Hey, where the hell you been? I yeah, so long, buddy. Yeah, can I help you? Yeah, help. Honey, the moon belongs to everyone. Okay, let's go. And take it easy behind the wheel, all right? I seen the way you kids drive these days. All right, kid. The place is locked up pretty tight at night, so you gotta get in through the back. They keep the back door open at night? No, but the basement window usually is, so that's how you can get in. You looking for the safe, right? Yeah, how'd you know? Lucky guess. It's on the top floor. So's the director's office. That's where the keys are. Okay. So I go in through a window around the back, then head upstairs to the director's office, right? Right. And be careful, there's guards in there at night. Don't let them see you. All right, kid. Drop me at the hospital right here. The office is across the street. Okay, thanks for the ride, kid. Thanks, Maria. I'll see you. No horse cock baloney here. Pipe down while I finish my puzzle. Ah, raspberries. I'm gonna go make the rounds. Good riddance to you.
Okay. This is the director's office. This is where the key should be. All right, here's the key. Now I gotta get to the safe. Watch me some television. Well, you bought a television? I sure did. Man, those things cost as much as a car. How the hell did you afford it? Give it up! You ain't got a chance! This is the Empire Bay Police Department. We have you surrounded. Come out with your hands up. If you do not surrender immediately, we will open fire. <clears throat> Things got out of hand. There was nothing I could do about it. We had an agreement. Remember? You only get a third of the money if there's any shooting. Listen, I got these extra gas stamps. You want them? They're yours. Cheap. Yeah, all right. I'm good with that. All right, here you go. And keep your mouth shut about this, all right? Sure thing, buddy. It'll be our secret. You better be. Hell, goodbye.
Hey, uh, interested in buying some gas stamps? Sure. Just keep this between you and me, all right? No problem. Just make sure you do the same. Sure. Sounds good to me. Mister? Hey, uh, I got some extra gas stamps. Interested? Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm interested. All right, here you go. Fork over the dough. Sure, sure. Here's your money. Thanks, pal. Now forget your song. Goodbye. Hey, uh, interested in buying some gas stamps? Sure. Just keep this between you and me, all right? No problem. Just make sure you do the same. Sure. Sounds good to me.
Hey, uh, you in the market for some surplus gas stamps? Sure. Where'd you get them? Uh, on second thought, I don't even want to know. Smart man. All right, now fork over the dough. Yeah, all right. Just hope I don't get in trouble for this. Don't worry about it. Just keep your mouth shut. See ya! forces of the German city of Dresden continues to take its toll. The fires lit by thousands of bombs continue to burn with seemingly no end in sight as this major Nazi transportation and communication center is reduced to rubble. The entire city is reportedly in flames and civilian casualties are expected to be high. For Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. <laughs> some extra gas stamps. Interested? Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm interested. All right, here you go. Fork over the dough. Sure, sure. Here's your money. Thanks, pal. Now forget you saw me. All right, that's the last of them. At least I got some cash. I should head back to Joe's. Classic Radio. Easy. In pursuit of a speeding vehicle. Roger that. 